Chris and Frank here. Uh, we went to Lone Depot Park because it's always been a dream of Frank and I. We always wanted to go to every baseball park uh, in the major leagues. As we decided to do them one by one and give grades on how they did. And the first one we chose was uh, with the Marlins play. Yep. Uh, it's actually built over the orange bowl. Did you know that? Retractable roof uh, in the uh, little Havana neighborhood. And we got lucky. We got to go to a game where the roof was open and then one where it was closed. So uh, we, keep, we do grades. We kept tally. So hopefully you guys can uh, either agree or disagree. Here it is, Lone Depot Park. Next stop is Florida for us, right? Yes, I think so. Continue on I-95 South for 419 miles. I like going south because the numbers count down. <laughs> I really like how it looks. It doesn't go back to like those retro stadiums that so many stadiums copy from camping yards. This feels unique to me. It does have a unique feel to it, and I think it fits well into the uh, little Havana community that we're in. Uh, this is where the Orange Boys is, and they've kind of memorialized it by putting these uh, letters out here, and they're kind of like uh, spread out in a kind of artsy type of way, which kind of fits with the with Miami, especially when you go to the uh, Miami South Beach and that uh, Art Deco uh, neighborhood. I'm gonna go slightly lower, I'm gonna go actually B minus. Yep, so another segment we're gonna do is neighborhoods. Basic kind of area where the ballpark is. This area is sunny, it's nice, but there's just nothing to do around. It's a neighborhood. Uh, that uh, you have know, people living literally across the street from the ballpark, uh, and it's it, and the, the aesthetics are nice, but there literally is nothing to do out here. It doesn't lend itself to really great fan experience. Like Frank said, like we're, I feel like we're like in a neighborhood, almost like we don't belong here, but like almost like it feels like we're intruding. I guess it's kind of a better way of looking. I mean, think about it as even though can't really judge Sandy. Think about going outside like in the city. You got that, so all those bars out there. Wrigleyville has turned itself into this, like, just like, absolute, just, going outside the city is almost as much as the fact of going inside the city. Same with Fenway. Fenway has tons of bars, restaurants around. This gives you a lot to do before and after the game, where this area doesn't really let itself down. So I gotta give the general area around the bar, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a C minus. Uh, the neighborhood is, it, it, it's, it's a nice enough neighborhood to win a look here, but this is a great neighborhood for Buffalo. I know, and I don't, and I don't really see a lot to lend for uh, tailgating either. I might have to like lean this to like a B. Oh wow! Tough grade for Frank. Behind us is the famous sculpture uh, that was inside Marlins Park before. I kind of like it. I mean, it's kind of, it's obviously ugly, but I think mean, it's kind of fun. What do you think? Are we back in South Florida? That looks like the same kind of South Florida. No, this is something that is, this is very Miami though. It's powerful, fun. It's ugly. It's ugly. Do you wish it was still in the park? I don't know. I give the park some sort of character. I agree. But it looks ridiculous. One thing you like to see at a ballpark are wide concourses where you can see the field and you have plenty of options Food. Lonely Bull Park does hit those bases. And you know, I think I gotta give the concourses here A B. Now I'm gonna give the concourses the main items. I think they're really wide, like Frank said. You know, think about Fenway Park, you feel like you're in a dungeon. What does it feel like? It's open, especially with the roof open. This feels very airy, and I love that, like Frank said, you can go get something to eat, you can also still keep somewhere of an eye on the game. So, concourses to me, A minus.
One good thing you like to see in a ballpark is very clean, honest, and fast. So uh, you got the, uh, the Pugs Blanco home plate, the World Series plate. Okay, the ball is the 35 game hitting streak. He might be one of the worst net players of all time. We got all the time. The first pitch by Tony Hawk, too. Yeah, history is a new try. I, I, I really admire, even though they're a relatively young team, going around the early season, and they got the two championship games. Yeah, I, I love that they do honor history. Like, there's no... I, I hope that one day they'll open a Marlins Hall of Fame. What do you say? Yes. Yeah. There's no doubt in the present. You're on a Marlins. So yeah, I like it. is Miami. The roof is open today, which makes this whole park feel like a whole different building. There's so much, so much national light coming in. I love it when the roof's open. Yeah, it's definitely airy. It helps add to the aesthetic of ballpark. The skyline backdrop is really beautiful. I give, I give the aesthetic of the ballpark the skyline. I got to give that a B. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking my A minus. I think the uh, bump it up. I think I said B plus on, so it's getting A minus when the roof's open. Where is it? The stadium is pretty comfortable. Like most new stadiums are. The chairs are, are comfortable. They, they're not in bad condition. There's no drink holders up here in the top deck, which are on the lower one. I get comfort here a solid beat. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable here, and the stadium does a good job with it. Right, they have the standard pop-offs. Now, these are not really Nathan's pop-offs. They just smoke them. That's a normal fact. They put the Nathan's logo on here. But these are not Nathan's pop-offs. They look, they don't look any like Nathan's pop-offs. Now, the bun to dog ratio is good. But here comes the most important part. How does it taste? Now, if you're going to sit around, you have ballpark pop -offs. They usually aren't good. But we're going to give these a try and just determine how they are as we Go around Lone Depot Park reviewing some of the food options. It's an average hot dog, pedestrian. Maybe an infield single. Nothing more than to be placed in the IO with a low guard screen. Parents major screen. It will continue to run a modern company. The clouds are over the stadium, like this, this season. Dark clouds! This is not a good start to opening day. And you know who's going to crowd up? Jose Bato. No, no, they're calling Miguel. They're calling Miguel. And guess what? The Grom is going to make a hundred starts, and Verlander's going to make none! And don't forget to enjoy a nice, pardon my cheese steak, whenever you get a chance. What's better than that? All right, here I am uh, on the top, well, top deck in the outfield area, at least. Uh, they close off the top deck here, I guess. They had an open roping day, but not here. So this view is pretty sensational. Um, you're pretty high, but yet, I don't feel like I'm as high up as a Chase, Chase Stadium uh, back in the day. Uh, and the view is, is fantastic. I feel like I'm right there on the action. They did a really nice job with the sidelines in the stadium. I gotta give the sidelines here. I gotta give the sidelines here an E-minus. I, I feel any place you sit, you're getting a really good view. I love this, I love sitting up here. Great. Well, one thing I like about the stadium is the seats are wide. The aisles are fairly wide. You know, a lot of times they try to cram you in there. But the seats are wide and comfortable. And even I, mean, uh, I remember that from yesterday, sitting uh, in a regular seat. Uh, the sidelines are very good too. I'm going to give the seats, comfort, and the sidelines a B plus. Alright, so we're here at Old Nemo Park, give our final grade. I'm going to give this team a solid B. I really like the sight lines. I, the food could be improved. And I thought this was a really fun team. I love how modern it is, and I really love the roof open. A B plus for the roof open, B minus for closed, solid B. One thing that's annoying about this ballpark is the, the puffing of the noise. The noise is too much at times. Uh, it's a better ballpark in person than it is on TV. I would say that there, there can be improvements made. It's not an awful ballpark. It's not a great ballpark. I'm going to give it a C plus. Tough credit to them. It's a nice ballpark. B, solid B.